So what I want to do here is start looking at the properties of the Lambert W function involving calculus. And in particular, what I want to do here is calculate the derivative and the indefinite integral of the Lambert W function. And so first, let's just remind ourselves that the Lambert W function is the y which satisfies this equation. It is, it is the inverse of this y e to the y. And one way that people like to write that is that uh, the Lambert W function satisfies w e to the w equals x. And that's that's perfectly fine. Um, but so then, how how do we want to take the derivative of, the, of this thing? I mean, it's it's not obvious exactly what you get when you do that, because I mean, all, 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 all th this is all the information that we have a priori. So so what what should we do to get this this derivative out? Well, the trick here is that we're going to use implicit differentiation. We know that this property right here is true, so if we just differentiate both sides with respect to x, some derivatives of w will pop out, and maybe we can isolate it and get something interesting. Uh, and so let's try that. So uh, I'll use a new color for this. I'll use green. Uh, so let, let's take the derivative of both sides. We want to take ddx of w e to the w and then d dx of x. All right, well, right-hand side's easy, that's one. What about the left-hand side? Well, we have a little product rule to do, so we're gonna have w prime e to the w plus w, w prime e to the w, so e to the w stays the same, but then we drop down w prime from the chain rule, and that's equal to one. Okay, this is looking good. So we, what can we do now? We can isolate w prime. So we have w prime is equal to, well, actually I'll, I'll pull it out first. We have w prime times e to the w times the quantity one plus w equals one. And we can actually do something nice here because this e to the w is equal to what? It's equal to x divided by w. And I'll write that right here. So this is w prime x over w, 1 plus w equals 1. Okay, great. Now we just divide over and we can solve for w prime. And, and so what do we get? We get that w prime is equal to w over x times 1 plus w. And I'll circle this guy because this is a nice property. So that so that's great. We've calculated the derivative of the Lambert W function, and it and it turns out just to be itself with a with another factor down here involving uh, itself. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> One way that people like to simplify this is by noting that, all right, well, what do we know about w? Well, w is equal to, w is equal to x over e to the w. Uh, and so one way that some people like to write this is as w prime equal to one over x plus e to the w. And you can kind of see how that works out because when we put this w in here, we're gonna get an x on top and an X on bottom, and so it's gonna cancel out such that you get this. And so this is sort of a, a cleaner way that some people like to write uh, the expression for the, for the derivative. But, but it's, all, it's all pretty much the same. All right, but we, we, we've done it. We've got our derivative. Now we wanna uh, calculate the integral. And so I'll do that. I'll do that on a new page. So we wanna calculate integral Lambert W of X DX. And so, all right, how, how do we start with this thing? We don't really know, well, yeah, we don't, we don't know too much about W of X. So, except for its derivative. And so what I want to, so the way that we're gonna solve this is we're gonna do the same type of thing that we do when we try to integrate log. We don't know how to integrate log, but we know what the derivative is. And so we can use integration by parts in order to solve the integral. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. So. If we use integration by parts, what do we get? We get, well, we're, we're sort of integrating an imaginary one out in front. So we get x, w of x 
minus integral x w prime of x dx. Okay, that's great. Well, yeah, we know we now, now let's recall, we know what w prime is, we just solved for it. So uh, we can then say now, uh, yeah, new, new colors are good. Um, now, now, so now, now our problem is how do we solve this integral x w prime of x dx. And the way that we do it, we substitute in for w prime that uh, on the other page. And so what do we get? We get w of x over 1 plus w of x dx. All right, so if we can solve this integral, we can plug it back in here, and we've got the integral figured out. Uh, so now we've got to figure out, well, how do we want to evaluate this integral? This is sort of... Um, I mean, it's not obvious how this is any easier than this integral up here. If anything, this integral looks harder. But uh, now we can use a little trick. We can use a, a convenient change of variables that'll make everything work out great. And that, that change of variables is going to be, and the way that people write it is as little w equal to big W of x. And as a result, x is equal to w e to the w. And dx, we can get it from here, dx is equal to dw times e to the w plus w e to the w. Okay, great. Uh, let's plug this in and see if we've actually, uh, if we can actually do anything with this. So this is going to give us what? This is going to give us integral. Well, this w just becomes a, a little w, 1 plus little w, dx is equal to this guy, so we have, uh, I'll write it, we have, we have, and I'll pull, so here we have e to the w on both terms, so we can pull out an e to the w times what's left, 1 plus w, dw. And so now this is starting to look kind of nice. We have 1 plus w on the bottom, 1 plus w on the top, so that's going to cancel out, and we're left with just w, e to the w, dw. And this is an integral, an integral that we know how to do uh, using integration by parts. And I'll, and I'll just do that really quick. Uh, this is going to be equal to what? This is going to be equal to uh, w e to the w minus integral e to the w dw. Nice and easy. Uh, this guy comes out to w e to the w minus e to the w plus constant. Great. Now, at long last, we can plug this back in to this expression here, and we're left with, I'll now rewrite the whole thing, w of x dx is equal to x w of x minus w e to the w, and I'll, you know, I'll include a little of x, minus e to the w of x minus some constant. Great, we've done it. Uh, the only the only other thing that we could do, and let me circle this real quick. The, the only last thing that we could do here if we wanted to simplify it would be to use sort of the same trick as before, where we substitute out this e to the w for x over w. All right, and so we can, so I'll, I'll do that just briefly up in, in this corner right here. Um, what happens? This integral is going to be, well, we still have x w minus, so then we put in our first substitution, we're going to get uh, e to the w is equal to x over w, so this is just going to be my uh, minus x. Um, this, this term right here is going to become a minus x over w. And then we still have that minus c. So this whole thing ultimately becomes x times w minus 1 uh, minus 1 over w minus c. Minus c. And, and then I noticed that this, this should actually be a plus, right? Because we have a minus sign here, plus sign there, plus signs through. Yes. Perfect. So we've got it. We've calculated both the derivative and the integral of the Lambert W function. Uh, so that was that was all great. That was all neat.
In the next video, I'm going to start looking at a series representation for the Lambert W function. So I look forward to seeing you there.